We have a question thread that we put on our subreddit for okay. people to submit questions for you. Yeah. And there was a question there that was my favorite. And it was, how did you k kill perfectionism? <laughs> well, yeah, you can use a steamroller or a bulldozer. <laughs> it becomes incredibly important to do that when you have it as badly as I do. Mm -hmm. you from, or you're never going to get anywhere unless you have a serious strategy for f steamrolling right over perfection. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you start to do, there's one I did called uh, Monday, like a good fire truck, mm -hmm. which is like, that's probably, I think, hit the mark the best in terms of flattening perfectionism, just mm -hmm. like, just just mash it and that that <laughs> satisfies you when you smash your perfectionist yeah if it means you can get something done instead right. of mm -hmm. not yeah yeah mm -hmm. and after you create a work do you look back and see like oh i could have done no. this different or that different or that's in the past and it's time to move forward no no when it's done you're happy yeah i, I, don't, I don't look at it interesting yeah. And so, Too scary. the schedule <laughs> defeats the perfectionism. When you hit your schedule, that's it. Well, it doesn't defeat the perfectionism, but it... it, it it's like a tool it, it to... It drags you along. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, you know, you get beat up and hmm. cut, but you, you get there. And, and, and you get stronger. Oh, my God. The thing, I mean, speaking of which, the vine thing, when I <laughs> ran out of vines, had to do them fast. And then I was doing... Um, started doing History of Japan. Mm -hmm. And so I flipped my schedule around, and I started doing... Uh, history first in the earlier in the day, and then just wait until the last two hours to do to mm. do the to do the vine. It was crazy. I had some crazy times, and I was you know I, I learned so many new tricks and techniques that mm. I never would have learned mm. if I didn't have to you know crunch down. Yeah, is that because you're most productive in the morning? Is that like your strongest hour? Because you said you no. you did the history in the morning. And no, then... the reason for that I was trying to get ahead of the schedule with the with the vines. Um, but that never works because the deadline is not there. Mm -hmm. So I would spend six hours doing one, even though mm -hmm. I thought I was going mm -hmm. as fast as I can, but I wasn't. So I just said, okay, look, I need to get this history thing happening. So <laughs> prioritize that. Do as much as you can first, mm -hmm. and then about 4 o'clock or something, just run for it and see what you can get. I'm fine. You know. How many hours a day do you work? It sound, you are incredibly productive. You are incredibly focused on your work, I can tell mm -hmm. by the volume and just... And your website. And, and, and your work has so much detail and... I mean, how much do you, do you work in as a day? As much as possible. How many hours in, in a day are you working? As much as possible. But the problem is, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say you got to take breaks and stuff. I wasn't going to say that. Well, most no, people we, say that. We work <laughs> most, as much yeah. as possible. Too. But the, the problem is, <laughs> and it's when, true. The problem is that when you work too much, <laughs> yeah, and then it starts fucking. All of a life sudden, up, you can't get out of bed in the morning. Yeah. Or if you have relationships or other things you want to do right. that yeah. you are. Yeah. But if you like what you do and that's what gets you out of the bed, then work as much as you got damn well, please. Yeah. Well. I think I naturally tend to take a break even though I won't admit it. Hmm. Like sometimes even if it's time crunch, crazy time crunch, sometimes I'll just l go face down into bed just for 20 minutes just because I can't even. Just you know. boom, face <laughs> yeah. down. But but I can't. But yeah, I mean, I know it's like, yeah, good to take breaks. But how long should the breaks be and how often <laughs> should the breaks be? You never. Well, what do you say? what do you do when it's you take so a break? It's so hard when you're Nothing. your own boss. <laughs> well, I don't admit it. I never admit you to taking a break. That's the problem. I have that problem too. <laughs> you know what my problem is? That I'll spend all day working, or I'll spend all day being busy, but then when I look back over the day, I never took a break necessarily. Like where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna step away from my work, but somehow, I was less productive than I thought. I I, I wasn't working the whole day. I don't know when I took breaks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a strategy for that really. But huh. But when the when things take way too long as it is, and and you know you, 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 there's no time to lose, you know.